So your body was manufactured, the elements of your body, the carbon, the hydrogen, the oxygen, the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the sulfur, you were manufactured, the components of your body were manufactured in the crucible of stars. So the atoms on your nose and the atoms in your fingernails could have probably come from two different galactic systems. Okay, they did. This visible universe, atoms, what is it? Well, when we look at it, it's made up of particles, it means smaller little things. Atoms are very little, but then there are smaller little things, and then there are smaller little things called bosons and gluons and all these things that scientists discover at the Hadron Collider in Switzerland, particle smashing. So you get smaller and smaller till you get the most fundamental particles and you say, you know, these electrons or photons or whatever they are, if no one's looking at them or if they're not in relationship with other particles, they disappear. And what did they disappear into? We say waves. That's the fundamental now wave particle duality is the fundamental property of particles. They act as particles, which means things. They, are, they have units of mass and energy. And then waves that are not things, they're not, they don't have a location anywhere. So you say, where are they? And you know, if you ask mathematicians this or physicists, they say they're in Hilbert space. So I ask them, what is Hilbert space? You know, because Hilbert is the name of some guy. He's a mathematician. So what is Hilbert space? It's an infinitely dynamic and infinite dimensional space. So I said, where is it? It's mathematical. I said, what do you mean mathematical? Where is this space where these waves of possibility exist? Because that's what they're called, probability waves. Or a particle essentially is a smear of probabilities. Where are they? And you know, most scientists who just do their scientific work, they say, shut up and calculate. They don't want to go any further. Bottom line, most of the universe is missing, it's invisible. The one that's available to us, 0.01%, that makes your body, stars, galaxies, everything, is 0.01, but that's made of atoms, and atoms are made of smears of probability that exist we don't know where, in some space which is beyond space and time, because space time also come from that space. Some scientists call that non-local space or, you know, infinite space or uh, multidimensional entangled space.